Today I thought I'd talk about how to fold kimono. Uh, kimono are the traditional dress of Japan and for Westerners like me it can be a little confusing to have this big garment and know how to keep it nice. You never want to leave it on a hanger because it can create weird creases and cause holes in the shoulder from the weight of the kimono. So I dry clean mine, it costs about three bucks. And then you want to lay your kimono out on a flat surface like a bed or a clean floor and make sure that the sleeves are out and that everything is straight. And the first thing I do is I fold the sleeves in half. Um, there are different ways to fold kimono. This is just the way I was taught and I find it to be the easiest way. And then the collar to keep it um, from creasing strangely, it will kind of fold down and then you want to make sure that everything is even and straight at the bottom. And I'm going to fold two kimono today so we can see both of them. And then I fold the other half of the sleeve in. And then I'm going to fold in thirds halfway over here. And then take the other side and fold that over and make sure everything is straight. Um, you will find that your kimono will naturally fold this way and you fold up a third and then down a third. And here I am making sure to remove the safety pin and tag from my dry cleaning because that metal could um, rust or snag on something. You don't want that safety pin stuck in there. And you always wanna make sure you're putting away clean, perfectly dry kimono and you're left with a tiny little pile that will fit neatly into a drawer. And that is my outer kimono. I'm going to show you the inner kimono, which is just a plain white. So removing the hanger once again and removing that dry cleaning tag. Hopefully this white one will show up and you'll be able to see the collar a little more clearly than in my darker kimono. So once again, you're just going to lay everything out flat, pull the sides over as if you were wearing it, make sure the sleeves are out straight. I, all of my kimono are from Japan and are vintage from the 1950s or earlier and I have about 12 of them. I have yukata and then I have some more traditional silk ones like this one. So here I am folding the sleeve in half and then folding it over to the side of kimono and then you fold the other sleeve in half and then over onto the kimono. And then you make sure the edges are straight at the bottom. And then you fold in a third. And then you fold the other third on top of that one. Make sure it's um, pressed out and then fold up a third and down a third. And this one was thin, so it's able to fold in half again if you need space. Uh, so you can see my two kimono and my obi fold very neatly together. Um, obis, if they are the simple flat kind, are very easy, just like a table runner. You will fold it in half and then fold it in half and fold it in half until it matches the size of your kimono, which is folded. Um, in Japan, they will often um, wrap each kimono individually in a paper envelope and then store that in a closet or drawers in a clean, dry, dark place to protect it from sunlight and dust and moths and things like that. So as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And enjoy this little photo of me this Halloween um, dressed in one of my kimono.
And of course, I am not an expert in Japan or folding of any kind, so this is just how I fold it and how I find it easiest for me.